Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Proverbs, the Mishle Shlomo, the Life Sayings of Solomon. We're in chapter 31 and we're looking at verses 1 to 7. And uh, this is a, a new section of the Proverbs. This last chapter, this finishing chapter, is actually ascribed to a, an unknown king called Lemuel. And in the Hebrew it says, Divrei Lemuel Melech Masa Asher Yisratu Imo. And this basically means the words of King Lemuel, an important message, that's a Masa in Hebrew, an important message, the burden of a message, that his mother drummed into him, or his mother disciplined into him. And the closing chapter of this amazing book of Proverbs is given over to the words of this unknown King Lemuel. But they're not his own words. Uh, they've been drummed into him, is, is the, my translation of it, the way I've looked at it. And they've been drummed into him by his mother, Imo, um, showing that it's not just a father's wisdom that's needed, but the mother's instruction also is important. In fact, the opening chapter of Proverbs, right back in chapter 1, verse 8, we saw Solomon instructing his son to listen to the formation, that's uh, the word in Hebrew there is Torah, of his mother. But notably here, the word that's used there in chapter 1 of Proverbs of the father's training, Musa, the same root is used here of Lumel's mother impressing on her son the perils of moral incontinence. She says, don't go to the, don't go to the loose women. Why go there? And also she warns him about alcohol abuse, about not getting drunk, about not misusing alcohol, particularly because in the case of kings and leaders, it impairs wives royal justice. So we see here the importance of wisdom coming from both parents, partic particularly here these words that Lemuel's mother imparts to him. Have a good day.